Hey folks, this is Rob Tiffany with your IoT Minute. I'm broadcasting live from the Pacific Rim Rainforest. I'm on Vancouver Island up near Tofino, you know, in beautiful British Columbia. I've been talking a lot about how IoT can benefit forests, help it. What about helping people who visit the forests? I'm kind of talking about safety here. This is where IoT can be a big help as well. I said before, there's typically no cell coverage in these places. And so if you are in an emergency, there's some crazy wildlife out here sometimes, or you might get injured, or something may happen to you, or you might just get lost. You may not have cell coverage to make a call to get help. You may not have one of those cool SOS devices that snow skiers have uh, in case of an avalanche. So what can we do in these forests to help people using IoT? Well, using these small, low-cost microcontrollers, and maybe something as simple as a button, an alert button, uh, that helps calls out for help. Pairing that with some of these great low-power, long-range wireless networks like Sigfox and LoRaWAN. I believe coupling those together, getting it back to a ranger station or whatever else is appropriate, is a great way to help people visiting these forests and scatter these throughout pathways uh, where they can be easily found to, to help folks out when they are in a crunch in the forest. I'm out.